So today I kind of just wanted to give you guys a few different ideas as far as what you guys can do in terms of free stuff for your YouTube channel, whether it be like channel art for your banner or profile picture or just like promotional things if you guys do like online coaching if you're a personal trainer or if you just want to do like video editing for people things like that I personally do have Adobe and basically everything that comes with Adobe me and my friend Mark who you guys know from the channel went in on it and we basically pay ten dollars per month which reminds me I haven't paid him in a while but anyways I haven't even been using that because honestly I don't have the time to delve into it and get use of something new so I just wanted to show you guys what I use and kind of some of the things that I do for free so we're on YouTube right here and this is my channel right now guys as you guys can see and this right here is all made from um, basically from PicMonkey basically you can put edits through the different things they have right here so basically as you guys are seeing um, I'm clicking on I'm gonna open up something here real quickly uh, let's see, so this is something I made on PicMonkey, and it's kind of a pr promotional thing from a personal training, so as you guys can see, there's a ton of different things on the on the side, and I basically created this whole thing on there, so like I said, it's PicMonkey.com, hopefully this focuses for you guys, and yeah, so check that out, and be sure to use that, but otherwise guys, like I said, I do have, um, like Photoshop, I do have, um, Adobe Premiere, um, but honestly, I quite often resort back to good old iMovie because um, realistically, iMovie is what has been um, trustworthy for a while and what I know, and um, it gets it done really quickly. So that's typically what I like to use. Also, I just wanted to mention that this right here, which used to be my YouTube banner, that right there, all those pictures and everything, that was all made on PicMonkey as well, and this is kind of what I use for my intro and stuff now. Um, but yeah, that was all made on Pick Monkey. things is the fact that um, my rest times have been a little bit lighter today I gotta go quicker so the higher reps in combination with um, not squatting as much and not as heavy as often I just feel weak today and that happens guys so you have to realize that sometimes you're not gonna be at your 100% um, and you have to deal with it but you got to keep progressing
invincible <laughs> squats onto leg extensions and leg curls and then some abs and some arms at the end just for fun <laughs> Take care, guys. So I just got done with my leg workout, and like I said, guys, my strength levels are not the same as they were probably about a month or two ago. For one, my body fat and my weight is just all around down. When I hit 405, which is currently my back squat PR, high bar, I was around 164, so that's about 10 pounds down, 8 to 10 pounds depending on the weight or the day I um, am talking about because sometimes I get up around 156 lately, but I'm really trying to push forward, try to get more consistent with my meal times. I've actually set up alarms on my phone that remind me to eat and I know that sounds excessive and I don't believe in really like a structured meal timing or needing to eat every two hours. but reminding myself to eat is something that I definitely am benefiting from just simply because I'm conscious of it. I'm the type of person where if I don't eat all day, I'm not gonna be completely like dead from it. But my friend Andrew actually does this and I'm gonna start doing it and have been for the last couple days and it's really been helping. So on top of all that, just not squatting as heavy as I've been used to. The squat session was not as uh, pleasing as I would like it to be today, but the rest of the workout went really well. Um, I just wanted to mention one thing about the goblet squats. Um, I know I've probably talked about this before, but goblet squats are really good at building your form in terms of your back squat. And I believe in goblet squats before you really jump under the bar itself because it really, it just helps you learn how to engage your core for one, and two, it really strengthens your core. And you can really go heavy on the goblet squats, and I like to use it as an accessory after my squats now. One, just to help really um, emphasize some quad development because it is a, more of a front squat. And two, it really helps me get my form down and really forces me to use my core. So it's actually a really great core exercise and core stability exercise as well. So. Anyways, I have all my clients do that when I'm personal training in the gym, especially people who have a lot of hip tightness and who have a problem with like their back coming forward and making it more of a good morning or a back extension than an actual squat movement. And a lot of that has to do with them trying to get depth and not having the mobility. But I always say your depth will come, work on the form itself. Um, I don't know if I've ever said this on the channel before, but if you work on the form itself, the depth will slowly start to come and you'll be able to get full depth in no time. So just really work on your mobility. Kelly Sarrett is a very good way, um, is a very good person to look up on YouTube for mobility exercises, whether it's shoulder mobility, hip mobility, anything. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I'll probably show you guys a little bit later in the day um, kind of different things that I'm eating if I remember to. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys then.
So lately, I've been really liking these um, body armor drinks. This one's strawberry banana, I believe. And um, there's a bunch of other flavors. These are awesome. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, there's a ton of sugar. Well, this one only has 18 grams of sugar. And this is like all natural sugar. So yeah, those like naked drinks, they have a lot of sugar and stuff. But like fruit has sugar in it. So that's where I get really confused when people get super mad like, there's no sugar added and it says right on there. So it's like from the fruit if there is sugar in there. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. These are really good if you're looking for something to drink that's a little bit more healthy. Anger? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think I've ever saw him before. And he was just adamant. And that's why we, you know, we have what happens. We will want to it there for a couple of minutes. You heard me about talking about going to grandma's. Not sure if you guys were able to see that or not, but it is about 5 o'clock right now, and I have a few clients to go train at my job at Body Body Design, so I'm going to go do that really quickly. Then I'm probably going to go hang out with my friend Mark and then come home and chill. Um, but. Just took a long ass nap and yeah, that felt really good. Um, it was kind of needed after that leg day. I was a little bit tired and I saw, I saw, I showed you guys my stir fry and then I had um, just a protein shake after that. So I haven't had a lot to eat today. Probably gonna get Blaze Pizza at the end of the night, but I will show you guys what I do eat when I eat it. Let's go take care of these clients now though. Let's go do it. So I just got done training my few clients for the night, a um, little bit less than normal, and I'm about to go to Mark's right now, and then we're gonna get some Blaze pizza, and then we're gonna chill for a bit. Um, I just wanna talk to you guys a little bit really quickly about something that I like to do. This is a little notebook that I use for my clients, and I write down their workouts in them, basically. Um, it's just a good way for me to keep everything in one place, but I also do this for my own workouts, and I do this for my nutrition and things like that. So that would be definitely something you guys could do if you were looking to kind of just stay on track and kind of document the progress that you have made or what you do eat throughout the day, either workouts, nutrition, whatever it may be, or both. Um, and I find that it's a really good way to just kind of chart things. And um, although I don't do it all the time, when I do when I do do it. Um, I'm basically able to just kind of reevaluate myself and have a lot more information and having more information on yourself and kind of your goals is definitely important when it comes to changing things up and making consistent progress. So just a random thought for you guys. Calm down. Hey, buddy. Calm down. Oh. Yeah. Mark enjoys watching people die episode after episode. I can't find the heart to uh, to do it. They save them. Leaving to go get Blaze now. Do it again. 
So I just got done eating my blades. I'm still at Mark's right now. I'm about to head home in a little bit and about to get some sleep and just edit up this vlog for you guys and then go to sleep. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to like the video and we're going to do more vlogs like this, incorporate the workout into them and just give you a little bit more insight into my life and just that sort of thing. But yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good night. Peace out, guys.